Hi, my name is Lisa and I work at the Watauga County Public Library and I am so excited to get to do an alphabet story time with you today. Today's letter is going to be the letter, what is that? Letter A. And there's the capital letter A and the lowercase letter A. The capital letter A is kind of pointy and the lowercase letter A is kind of round. So letters make sounds just like animals do. And many letters can make more than one sound, but today we're only going to be talking about the short sound of letter A, and that sound is ah. Can you say that? Ah. So we always start our alphabet story times by building a puzzle together, and I'm going to give you words, I'm going to give you clues to guess words that begin with the short sound of letter A. Ah, ah, ah. So the first clue that I want to give you is this is a name for men and women who get on rocket ships and go into outer space and explore the moon and explore other planets and stars. Do you know what we call them? Ah, ah, astronauts. Good job. The next word I want you to guess is the name of an animal that lives in a swamp and it's got large jaws that can clamp down and sharp teeth. It's called an ah, ah, did you guess alligator? Ah, alligator. The next word, I, oh, I think he goes over here. The next word I want you to guess is something, oh, this is something that might show up at your picnic and it might eat all the crumbs that, you, that fall from your sandwich. Very small, black, has six legs. Ah, ah, ant, ant. The next word I want you to guess is something you could eat. It um, and most people like to squash it, squ uh, smash it up, and make guacamole out of it. And it has a large pit in the middle. When I was your age, I did not know what this was. Have you heard of a ah ah? Do you know what that is? Avocado. Great job. Now the next word I want you to guess, this is something that say you were climbing a tree and you fell out and you hurt your arm so badly, your uh, family member might call for a vehicle to come help you and take you to the hospital. Do you know what we call that vehicle? An ah, ah, ambulance. And you can see two letter A's on the side of that ah, ambulance, ambulance. All right. The next word I want you to guess, this is something that if you needed to chop down a tree for firewood, you would use this thing to chop, chop, chop. But it starts with ah. Did you guess axe? Axe? All right, and the last word for you to guess is something that I think you are familiar with. You've probably eaten it. It's very yummy. It's round and grows on trees. It can come in colors of red or yellow or green. Did you guess ah, ah, apple? Good job. What did we make with our puzzle? An uppercase letter A, and now we're going to sing a song about it. And in the song, we're going to use a letter land symbol and sound for a, ah, a, ah, apple. And uh, I'll show you how it goes. We are learning letter A, letter A, letter A. We are learning letter A, 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 a. And you just pretend like you're eating an apple. So now we'll go through each one of these pictures and we'll make up an action for the picture and sing a verse for that picture. So for instance, astronauts, they kind of, this astronaut looks like he or she is floating in space. So I want you to get real floaty and we'll sing. Astronauts start with letter A, letter A, letter A. Astronauts start with letter A, 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 A. And then for alligator, you might want to chomp. But you can pause this video and you can, you and your family can sing a verse for each picture on this puzzle and then come back and we'll talk about a book that has a letter A in the title. Do you know what I'm wearing on my head that starts with the letter A? I have some ah, ah, antlers. 
And antlers are featured very prominently in one of my favorite books called Antlers Forever. And it is about a moose who loses his antlers. And it is a fabulous story, and I'm going to link to it in the show more section underneath this video so that you can listen to it through NC Kids Digital. So make sure you check out Antlers Forever. Let's see if you can find the letter A in the title. You point to it. Can you? There's antlers on the letter A. Did you find it right there? Good job, capital letter A. Next, we're gonna do a flannel board poem called Three Hungry Ants. Now, if you do this at home, you could have five or 10 ants, but today we're gonna to do three. There were three hungry ants. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three hungry ants were marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! How many ants are left? Two. Two hungry ants were marching in a line. They came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh no, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 How many ants are left? One. One hungry ant marching in a line, came upon a picnic where he could dine. He marched into the salad. He marched into the cake. He marched into the pepper. Oh no, that was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! No more ah ants. Next, we're gonna sing a song together about ah ant anatomy. Anatomy are the parts of an ant. So we're going to sing about the ant's head and his thorax and his ah, ah, abdomen. We'll also sing about his ah, antenna and his eyes and his legs. So the, um, Song is to a tune that you'll recognize, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, but we're gonna sing head, thorax, and the abdomen. It will kind of like be your belly. Ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two eyes, six legs, antennas two. Head, Thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Now we're gonna sing it as if we were big papa, papa bear kind of ants, all right? So you're gonna to have to put a deep voice in. Ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two eyes, six legs, antennas, two head, Thorax, abdomen, abdomen. And the last time around, we're going to sing it like little baby ants in a very high-pitched voice. Get your high-pitched voice ready. Here we go. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two eyes, six legs, antennas, two. Head, thorax, abdomen. Good job. I just remembered one more fun ant song, and it's from Jolly Phonics, and all you need to do is pretend like ants are crawling up your arm, all right? Ants, ants, ants on my arm, ants, ants, ants on my arm, ants, ants, ants on my arm, they're causing me alarm. Ah! Try that again on your own. 
I wanted to mention a few more titles for you to either look for at your library or you can look for them digitally in our library system through NC Kids Digital, which I've linked to in the Show More section. So one of the books I wanted to show you is The Three Bears ABC, an alphabet book. And this tells the story of the three bears alphabetically. For instance, on this page, F is for forest. While the porridge cooled, the bears walked in the forest where they sniffed fragrant, fragrant flowers. And G is for a girl named Goldilocks. So you can find that at your local library or at NC Kids Digital. Another book I love that has a letter A in the title is Imogene's Antlers. Can you find the letter A in the title? And can you find lowercase letter A's in the author's last name? You can pause this video uh, to try to point them out. And another book that you uh, can also access on NC Kids Digital is Ask Mr. Bear. So pause the video and count how many capital letter A's you see in the title and how many lowercase letter A's you see in the author's name. And then check these books out at your local library or digitally online. I wanted to introduce you to my friend Alfred and see if you could guess what kind of animal Alfred is. Lots of people think that you are a llama. Are you a llama? Nope, Alfred's not a llama. Remember, he's here for a letter A story time, so the kind of animal he is is going to start with a letter A. Did you guess a alpaca? Alpacas look a lot like llamas, but they're much smaller. And if you want to know more about alpacas, you should check out a book about them at your local library, or you can check out a book on NC Kids Digital. How would that make you feel, Alfred, if they checked out books about alpacas? Oh, it would make him smile. Well, that brings us to the end of our letter A story time for today. So in the words of Tigger, ta-ta for now. Be sure to click on the words Show More located underneath this video on YouTube. There you'll find links to fun read alouds that have a letter A in the title, a short alpaca video. You'll find links to fun songs like the animal Hokey Pokey and the chant Alligator Pie. And there's even links to crafts and experiments you can do with the letter A. We just don't want you to miss out on any of the fun that you can have as you're learning about letter A. On a mobile device, you can access all the extra fun activities in the Show More section by clicking on the icon shown here in the green circle and being pointed out by the green arrow.